Hello, my dear Scorpios. Welcome to your reading from now through the 7th. The energy can extend a few days beyond that time frame. And if you're ever drawn back to it at a later date, it could be your reading then. Scorpio, I'd like to welcome Empress Empire, my VIP group. Thank you so very much for your love, support, and encouragement. VIPs, we will be doing a guided meditation via YouTube on Friday the 5th at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Look in the community tab around the 9 p.m. time frame for the live link. All right. Wow. It's like... So, Scorpio, both Pisces and Cancer received this card. At least I think they both did. They, they both received this card of assessing. So, what I'm seeing here is that water signs, in particular right now, are very focused on looking towards the future and determining what is the right course of action for you right now in some area of your, or some, we're talking about your love life. So with regards to your love life, assessing something from a distance. Oh, wow. So Scorpio, you're assessing whether or not there is a new beginning up ahead. Ace of coins. King of Swords, should you express yourself? Is somebody going to express themselves to you? Should you speak your honest truth about um, an opportunity? Ace of Pentacles, you could be evaluating somebody for marriage as well. If you are in a long-term commitment already, an exclusive relationship, you may be wondering whether or not you should marry the person you're with. That's possible also. Um, typically, I only see that when the page of coins comes out with it at the same time, but that is a possibility. All right, so subscribers, welcome back. Always happy to have you here. Thank you so very much for your support. You guys keep me going day in and day out, and I truly appreciate that. Thank you. To those of you that are brand new subscribers, welcome. To those of you that are repeat viewers, subscribe down here. We'd love for you to connect further. And if you're brand new, you'll hear me talking to Fred. Fred is my spirit guide. Wow, Scorpio, your cards are wanting to go cray cray. I swear, they're going everywhere. Your energy must be crazy. So y'all just take a deep breath for me. I can pick up on future energy. So if you're doing that while you're watching the video, I can pick up on it. All right. A little bit better now. All right, Scorpio, let's see what we get. We have the Ace of Swords, the Justice card, the Moon, the Three of Wands, the Four of Coins, the Empress, the Lovers, the Temperance card, the Four of Wands. Are you dealing with the Twin Flame? Four of Wands and the Empress, it's possible. Seven of Swords. Well, that's kind of a very negative, uh, <laughs> negative ending there. All right, let's, uh, let's take a card on that Seven of Swords, please. <laughs> Alrighty, Scorpio. Chariot still doesn't tell me anything. Eight of Swords. I'll be darned. Scorpio. Wow. Okay. You're not ending in a great way. Let me just note that. So let's address this situation first. So there is some sort of assessment about whether or not you want a new beginning on something whether or not you want to move forward towards a new beginning, having a new beginning, something of that nature. Where you are right now is unable to make any love decisions. You're stuck with the, with the lovers here. Stuck, stuck, stuck in a situation, in a difficulty, in, without the ability to make a decision at present. Could be that you don't have the information you need to determine whether or not you should move forward towards this person or not. Um, could also be that you just are dealing with something, you could be dealing with something financial at the same time with these two cards. That could be happening as well. 
signs that I see on the board from the main spread, not from these two cards, but from the main spread. I see Gemini, I see Aquarius, I see Libra, I see Pisces, I see Cancer. Um, Four of Pentacles is Capricorn, Aries, Libra, uh, Sagittarius, and Aquarius. People cards, we have Libra, and that's it. All right. This is looking a little rough. Are you ready, Scorpio? I think you can handle it. I mean, there's parts of it that are great, and then the ending is just, woo. All right, so where are you at right now? You have the Ace of Swords. I feel like this is the assessment, right? The epiphany. Trying to gain some sort of epiphany about what to do about this particular love situation here, right? What to do about moving forward. Should you have a new beginning or should you not? Is it going to be a long, arduous climb in order to get to this new beginning? Or, you know, do you have clear sailing? Heart level. Wow, you are drowning in emotion, Scorpio. Heart level, you may feel like there's something being held back from you. You might think that there, you may think, because this is fear-based here, right, as your outcome. Your outcome is all fear-based. You may feel like your person has done something deceptive. Maybe they've cheated. Maybe they've, you know, they've lied to you. This is, this is the fear. It's not the actuality. It's the fear. Like your person's up to no good. It's, they're actually not up to no good. There's a fear that they are. And here you have a fear of the four, with the four of coins. Now, the fear could be a loss of finances. If this is financial, you may be worried you're gonna lose finances. You may be worried that you don't have what it takes to open up to this person to move forward. You may be afraid to open up your heart because your heart's gotten wounded pretty badly. Now, your person on their mind, justice. It could be that they're wanting something to start to move in their favor. Um, they could have gone through a very difficult, traumatic time in the past, and now things are starting to move in a good direction for them. On their heart space, they have this waiting energy. Scorpio, there are like 10 bazillion people on this, on this channel that are waiting on you. <laughs> So it's possible that your person is sitting here waiting on Scorpio. It's very possible. Uh, with the three of wands, they are, they're waiting for their ships to come in. They're waiting for some sort of, of beautiful movement. Now, the three of wands could also be indicative of the fact that the two of you are in a long distance relationship. So that could be the case as well. They have the Empress. So they have a brand new cycle starting in their life. Does the cycle include you, Scorpio? That would be the big question. Does it include you? It looks like that's what you're trying to assess. Is, is this person's new cycle that's occurring in their life, does it involve you? Or is there something sneaky going on behind the scenes? I see there's not. Now, their challenge is temperance. Their challenge could be this waiting energy. They're losing their patience, right? Maybe they've lost their patience with you. Maybe they're feeling like they've got stress and strain all around them and they just can't seem to release the stress, the difficulties, the, the struggles. Feeling overwhelmed and burdened by planetary mumbo jumbo, right? Between the two of you, we have the four of wands. So you may be living with this person, it's possible. Um, this could also be a twin flame union because we do have, we have the empress, we have the lovers, we have the four of wands. Um, all of those can be indicative of it when we have multiple cards. So it could be a twin flame connection as well. With the four of wands, there's a sense that what you both want is harmony. What you both want is peace. What you both have is gratitude for one another in some form or fashion. But here you are, Scorpio ending with the seven of swords, which we are told is nothing but a fear. Eight of swords, fears and worries of your own making or their own making, either or, right? 
something that cannot be seen to you, something that's not very apparent. And then we have the chariot trying to move towards victory over fears and worries and, and struggles. It's possible, Scorpio, you or the other person could have been deceptive in the past. And as such, now there's an energy of, okay, well, there's been this deception. There's been this difficulty. Is it going to continue? The chariot moving forward towards releasing the fear and worry of it happening again. Very likely you would be the one who is concerned about that because you do have fears and worries here with this four of coins. And you are pretty up in your emotions here with the moon and worried about something not being shown to you, right? Worried about what you cannot see. So if that is indeed your energy, Scorpio, if that is indeed your energy, it looks like it's just fears and worries of your own making. Um, because the Eight of Swords indicates that's mostly our thoughts create those fears, right? Our thoughts create those worries. So that's where we're at, Scorpio. Um, you're a sign that can vary. I just saw 1117 just now. Um, Claudia, I think <laughs> that pertained to you, right? Um, so... You are a sign that can get up in your head, right? You're a sign that can get caught up in fears and worries. You're a sign that can mull something over so much that it morphs into other things. Um, and some of that is a um, result of, of the perception of what you see and other things are a result of, of um, Scorpio's being concerned about being manipulated by somebody. Um, you guys have a, a strong aversion to that. And to see this kind of card, it may be like, well, is this person, is this person gonna treat me wrong? Is this person gonna act out? Are they gonna do this? Are they gonna do that? There's always a sense of mystery kind of surrounding you, Scorpio. And as such, there's a distrust of others. And that's what seems to be presenting itself here. Let me take another card before I run to the extended, all right? Ace of Wands with the Four of Wands. It's like you both want a new beginning. Talk to me about the Seven of Swords, please. All right. So... The Seven of Swords appears to be related to the Page of Swords in reverse. So, Scorpio, whether this was you in spying mode of your person, or whether it was your person in spying mode of you, something that was seen was perceived as wrong. Because we have the Eight of Swords, it's all fear-based, right? It's not accurate. Something seen in the state of kind of checking in on your person or them checking in on you showed a sense that, oh, you know, this, this really can't be upright. You know, they must be dealing with, they must be dealing with some sort of deception, leaving you in a state of limbo. What do I do about this? Right? What do I do? How do I take action? Do I even bother to take action? What should I do? What should, I, what am I actually seeing here? And there's a need to trust in that intuitive guidance over what you are seeing and experiencing. All right, Scorpio, I'm going to um, I'm going to dig into this in the extended. So stay tuned for the extended preview. Don't you go nowhere. Um, queue up that uh, extended link down in the description box while I present to you what it was found. So stay tuned. Oh my, Scorpio. <laughs> So if you are dealing with a um, divine union, soulmate or twin flame, we have the empress and the emperor. We have the emperor twice. So just so you know that, we did have the emperor twice. We also had the wheel of fortune twice. We had the six of swords or six of cups twice. This outcome and this outcome, I'm not telling you. <laughs> I 
you'll have to watch the extended to see it. But wow. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Um, we had a distinct connection to this, these three cards. Somebody is evaluating whether or not they want to offer a new beginning to the other. So Scorpio, if that's you, you're already aware and this, re this extended will tell you what the potential is if you do that. If you are waiting on the other person, the cards show you, Scorpio, your potential um, and what the potential is if your person offers you a new beginning. And so it looks really, really, really amazing. It does involve somebody that you already know, somebody from the past. Don't shoot the messenger. That's what it is. Someone from the past here. Um, and it just looks absolutely phenomenal. So if you'd like to find out what happens with this divine union, if somebody chooses to offer that new beginning, then link down below in the description box and in the comments. As always, Scorpio, love and light to you. Big hug from Kimmy. Kiss, kiss. I'll see you soon.